Oh, um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank the religion department um, when I arrived, um, or at least I'd like to thank the person that the department tried to hire but couldn't, so. Um, <laughs> we're number two. <laughs> You know, when I arrived at Elon's campus in 1986, it, I have to say it was a very peculiar sort of place. The view book touted, and I quote, Elon, it looks the way a college ought to look. <laughs> okay. As I surveyed this wondrous new world I had arrived in, I, I wondered to myself, why were we not more? I thought I might be here four or five years and then I'd be off to teach seminary somewhere, the other step on a career, but something happened over those years. This community took me in, they overlooked my flaws, and they supported me through some very, very difficult days. In those years, I saw people who were trying to make Elon better even as I resisted them. What? You want to reduce our teaching load from nine classes to six? Well, that's another way the man's trying to keep us down. <laughs> and what we were after was not the rankings. It was the quality of education that we offered our students, the vision that we gave them of what an Elon education meant. And in those days, we talked about the old Elon and the new Elon. And over those years, I came to love this community and I wanted to contribute something anything to help my colleagues, many of whom have been awarded this medallion in the past, build the new Elon. And so this morning we stand amid the new Elon, a vastly different place than the one that existed when I arrived 20, 36 years ago. We no longer look the way a college ought to look. We are the way a university ought to be. And I, and I hope over the last two and a half years in the most difficult situation that you have faced as a community that you're able in some way to maintain that community of purpose for something other than survival because Elon's future, even with all of the tensions that you presently negotiate, will be up to this community Live into your greatest hopes and not your greatest fears. Because I think that's what we did. And that's why we are where we are today. I became a better person because of this community. For many of you sitting in this room, you have made me a better human being than I would have been without you. And I am forever grateful for all of you and your presence in my life. Thank you so much.